When we played Auburn, it was raining, the turf was terrible, stadium was terrible, you know, everything was just bad, man. And the hardest place to play in the SEC. Oh, man. That's a good question. It's very debatable. Definitely Austin. Definitely at Penn State. Definitely Nebraska. Alabama. My freshman year, it, it felt kind of surreal. I grew up in Alabama, so just walking out down the field, just looking up, it was just weird. Oregon's really hard to play in. I never played at Oregon, but I was there my red shirt year, and I literally, I couldn't hear myself think. Uh, <laughs> Austin Stadium is loud, it's, it's rowdy. It's definitely a hectic place to play. Iowa. Iowa. Iowa, Iowa. Yeah, they have a great home crowd. They're just so close, they're just so loud. We had like 600 yards of offense and just couldn't find a way to get an end zone, so we kept them in the game, so that stadium was rocking, and you like literally in awe at that, at that um, stadium. Clemson. It's hard enough to beat Clemson anywhere, but beating them in front of 90,000 people screaming, it's really hard to hear. Every team that you watch play at Clemson, you can see all the false start penalties, we had like seven false start penalties, and I think that's hard to beat. Clemson, I, I really enjoyed Clemson environment. You know, it was very loud. We had a lot of false starts that game. Playing in the Cotton Bowl against Texas uh, every year when it's half crimson, half burnt orange, it gets really loud in there. It's, a, it's 100,000 strong. Usually we play them early in the year, so it's hot as a dog down there in Austin, humid. I would say Oklahoma uh, it was very, uh, one of the hardest places to play, you know, over 100,000 people, you know, fans literally like right over you, like two steps away, so I would say Oklahoma's pretty rowdy. North Dakota State, clear. the fans are the craziest, you know, it's literally the, one of the loudest stadiums in America. You literally have their crazy fans right behind the bench just cheering, oh, Tim, you suck, or ah, oh, Tim, you didn't catch that bar, just, just stuff of that matter. And it's like, oh my gosh. It's Carter Finley Stadium, just because our fans get so rowdy that you can't even hear each other on defense sometimes trying to communicate. So no other stadium in the ACC really impressed me. Texas A&M. Texas A&M Stadium. Texas A&M is just, I mean, everybody's like, everybody's yelling at the top of their lungs at the same time. And I don't know, it's like crazy loud for some reason. It's hot. Kyle Field is like 112,000, I think. You know, the whole 12th man thing they have going on. That place gets pretty loud. And uh, Baton Rouge, they're just, they're crazy. Like those two teams feed off that crowd and that helps them play better and it's, it's really hard for us. Oh, LSU, definitely. Um, Texas A&M is up there. I give them a close second. But um, LSU, it's always steaming hot. Alabama gets hot and it still, for some reason, just feels different at LSU, that type of heat. And uh, their, their fans are nasty. They're sitting within 10 feet of you, it feels like. It's crazy. The hardest place to play in SEC was actually be the easiest place for me to play and that'll be in Death Valley the real Death Valley. The fans there are crazy. You come out of class and there's already people tailgating and sleeping in their campers. I'm going to give it to LSU. Those people are the most annoying fans that I've seen. Like, LSU, you got it.